Murray Rothbard wrote all these scholarly books and articles, but then he would write very, very, you know, rhetorically punchy journalistic style articles or uh, editorial style articles where he would say, look, I can make all the arguments in the world against agriculture subsidies, but the, the fact of the matter is what it boils down to is you are getting ripped off by people who go around, people who who think of themselves as superior to you because of the degrees they have in some heaven knows what field. And they and these people spend all their time thinking of ways to fleece you and rip you off. And that's going on every day and, and, and you know, whatever. I mean, if you can talk that way, and it doesn't have to be policy wonk, policy wonk, policy wonk type right. talk all the time. It can You can reach something that's quite visceral. And, and this doesn't have to just be a right-wing appeal. Uh, you can you can also, as I've done, you can make quite visceral appeals when you talk about the the warfare state in the U.S. And that also reaches some some reachable people on the right wing because there are some people on the right wing of which I was one who do actually have some kind of fellow feeling yeah, for, the, you know, for other human beings. And when you say step back for a minute, forget Democrats, Republicans, liberals, conservatives, and this is what I did in in Los Angeles in 2011. I was in a group. I had a lot of veterans and conservatives in that group. I said, I want you to forget all the labels for just a couple of minutes, and I want you to think about what you, you in this room, have been led to support. You support or you supported a regime that was keeping, and then I listed a whole bunch of necessary, essential goods out of Iraq, and the result was, well, some people dispute the 500,000 dead children. Okay, let's say that's a 90, let's say it was only 10%, only 50,000, only 50,000 children died of malnourishment and mm. complications related from the fact they, they didn't have water treatment facilities and all that. Now, there's no reason for that. That did not in any way hurt the regime. They, they're fine. So that was just gratuitous wickedness for no reason. And yet, I bet a lot of people in this room thought that was the right thing to do. Now, if that had been the Soviet Union, we'd say these people are butchers. Look at how they treat kids. But it's not the Soviet Union. It's your gang. Mm. And because it's your gang, you're going to get the pom-poms and, and do the cheers. But wait a minute. Aren't you also the same people who tell me I shouldn't be a moral relativist? There are some moral principles I've got to just believe in. Well, how about not gratuitously starving children? Right. And yet this poison of politics and of us versus them has led you to support that. And I am telling you right now that you are better than that, that that shouldn't have happened. And I did reach some of those people because I got a standing ovation from them after that. I did, yeah. and I had I had people coming up to me and saying that gave me the chills, and I'm going to have to think about this. I thought, okay, that's all I'm asking. 